Hi, welcome to this lesson video for some basic right triangle trig review. Um, as we're getting ready for the unit circle, just some things that we want to remember back from geometry. Um, so our learning target is just to be able to, some, to apply some basic right triangle trig to help us solve some problems. Um, so first, Sokotoa. If you don't remember it, we're going to be using it a lot. Um, basically, Sokotoa just tells you, let me write it out. I think it's funny how some folks forget or don't know how to use Sokotoa because it makes it so easy. Um, here's the breakdown. The so tells you the sine, which is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine equals O over H. Okay. The ka part tells us that cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And then tangent tells us O divided by A, our opposite side divided by our adjacent side. Okay, So one thing that you've got to um, make sure that you're aware of, labeling your O, A, and H always you know, make sure you have the right reference angle. So for example, in this triangle in the picture, they're referencing angle X. So the side opposite, the side that's all the way on the other side of the triangle from the reference angle would be the opposite side. The side, the leg that's touching the angle is your adjacent. And then obviously the longest side that's opposite the right angle, that's the hypotenuse. Okay, so make sure you have your side labels so that way you don't um, invert your sine and cosine and tangent for that fact. Okay, so uh, let's see. Here's an example. They went ahead and found the sine, cosine, and tangent of angle A. We're going to find the sine, cosine, and tangent of angle B. So again, how I was mentioning, make sure you have the right reference angle. So I'm referencing from angle B. Now I can clearly tell that 5 is my hypotenuse because not only is it the longest of the three, but it's also across from the right angle. From angle B, the side that's all the way on the other side of the triangle is my opposite. And this other leg that's, you know, touching, helping form angle B is considered adjacent since it's right next door. So then following Sokotoa, and if you have to write this on the top of your paper each time, so what? I do too sometimes. Sine is O divided by H, so 3 over 5. Cosine is A over H, so 4 over 5. And tangent is O over A, 3 over 4. Okay, so that's all we're, we're going to be doing. So if you've got your trig packet, um, this is the first page, the little header on top so you know which page I'm at. I'll do the first few with you. Question A asks us, well, excuse me, question 1, 2, and 3 asks us to find sine, cosine, and tangent of angle A. So I've got to make sure I've got the right reference angle. Out of the three sides, I can tell that's my hypotenuse. The side that's on the other side of the triangle from A is my opposite side. And then a 12 is obviously my adjacent. So then the sine of A, if I do Sokotoa, would be O over H, so 5 over 13, which is R. So I don't care if you put the R beside the sine or if you put a 1 beside the R. I mean, whatever you want to do. I don't care how you do it. Cosine A over H, so that would be 12 over 13, which would be the I. Okay, that would be the cosine. And the tangent O over A, so 5 over 12, would be E. Okay? So maybe we'll do one more. The same triangle, um, questions 4, 5, and 6 ask us to reference angle B, though. So we will see a difference in our values because we have a different angle reference. Hypotenuse is still 13, but now from B, the side that's on the other side of the triangle is the 12. So that's the opposite. And 5 is helping form angle B. So that leg is adjacent. And so remembering Sokotoa. Um, sine would be O over H. So 12 over 13 would be A. 
cosine would be a over h, 5 over 13, which would be t, and tangent o over a would be 12 over 5, so that's actually the s. All right, so part of the assignment is to finish up that page, but I'm going to go to the next page. Uh, yeah, this one about the grass field. Um, in this page of our packet, they want us to find the value of x. So we're still thinking about Sokotoa, um, but here's how, here's how I do this. They give me an angle. That's my reference angle, like before, how we had to watch if we were at A or if we were at B. This is my angle because they gave me a degree. And yes, there are three sides to the triangle, but notice they only labeled two of them. Now granted, this label isn't really a number. I don't know what it is yet, but they still labeled it with something, okay? So the two sides that are labeled are the sides I'm gonna label OAH, depending on what two I have, from angle 32. So from angle 32, x is actually all the way on the other side of the triangle. So x would be considered opposite the 32 degree angle. And this leg, it appears to be the longest, but just to verify, it is across from the 90. So that is my hypotenuse. And like I said, this side that they didn't label, I'm not labeling it either. Because take a look how this works. Since I have O and H in respect to 32, which of the three trig functions does that kind of force me into? O and H forces me into sine, all right? So sine of the 32, angle I, 32 degree angle I was given is equivalent to the ratio of the sides, O over H, X over four. And so now I have myself a little equation, okay? To get X by itself, I would just multiply by four all right, and so now this is just basically a plug and a chuck. On your calculator, you want a calculator that has the trig functions. Here's all you have to do. Hit sign. Well, first make sure your mode is degrees. If you have a graphing calculator, if it's in radians, it'll give you the wrong answer. Um, make sure your mode's degree, and then you're gonna do sine of 32 degrees, and I, I'm gonna do that first. I typed in sine of 32, and I hit equal. And I got like 0.53 rounded, but that I'm going to keep it on my screen and I'm going to hit times four. And so I get 2.12 if I round two decimal places. Okay. And so that's how high this leg is where X is. X is equivalent to 2.12. Now let me show you another example. Here's my reference angle, 20 degrees. So I'm going to label these two sides as O, A, or H, whatever they may be. X is all the way on the other side of the triangle, so that's opposite. But now 30, it's the other leg. It's the adjacent leg, okay? So now uh, I have O and A, so if I'm thinking about Sokotoa, which trig function does that put me in? That puts me into tangent. So tangent of my 20 degrees equals O over A, X over 30. So to get X alone, I'd multiply by 30, both sides. And again, just use my calculator. Tangent of 20, and I'm going to hit equals, and I get like 0.36 something something. Keep it on my screen and hit times 30. And I get 10.36. 9, 2, if I round two decimal places. I guess the direction said round to a tenth, but I'm used to doing two places, whatever. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to skip this last one and move to the last page here, where it says, find the angle degree. So they give me an arc, and they want me to find this angle measure, and they give me the value of two legs of the triangle. So kind of like what we did before, the two legs they labeled, I'm going to label as my OAH, whatever they may be. So from this arc that they specified, three is all the way on the other side. So that's my opposite. And five appears to be the longest leg, and it is indeed opposite the right angle. So that's my hypotenuse. So Sokotoa puts me with 
which function? O and H puts me with the sine function. Okay, so sine of, ooh, the degree I don't know, I'm going to call it x. Okay, so sine of the degree that I'm trying to find should be equivalent to the side ratio O over H, 3 over 5. Okay, now here to get x alone, we've got to get rid of a word. We've got to get rid of the word sign. How the heck do you do that? Well, on your calculator, you should notice, like, if you see the sign button, usually above it, there's the sign inverse. Sign with the negative 1, okay? That's what we have to use, because the sign and sign inverse will cancel each other, and so then we'll have x by itself. All right, so I'm going to take the sign of inverse of 3 halves. And so x equals, I'll write it out a little nicer for you. There we go. A little easier to read. So you know what I'm doing. So just plug and chug. Usually you have to hit like a second button and then sign to get the inverse function to pop up. And then just, you know, 3 divided by 5. And I get 36.87 if I round two decimal places. And that would be the degree measure for that little angle for x. Okay, so really not that hard, just you need a calculator to do the hard part. So here's my angle again that I'm referencing. I'm trying to find that as my um, value for x. So from x, 9 is all the way on the other side. So 9 is my opposite side. And 10 is the other leg, so it must be the adjacent leg. And so Sokotoa, which trig function does that put me in? Well, O and A puts me in tangent. So tangent of the degree I'm finding should be equivalent to 9 over 10. And again, to get rid of tangent, it has an inverse function as well. So tangent inverse of 9 tenths. I'll write it out so it looks a little better. <laughs> it's a little sloppy trying to squeeze it in there. So make sure you hit second tangent and then 9 divided by 10 and parenthesis on mine. And uh, my x value is 41.99 when I round it to two decimal places. Okay. Now, um, on this page in our trick packet, there's also some word problems. So I wanted to do this one with you real quick. Each step of a stairway rises 16 centimeters for a tread width of 36 centimeters. What angle does the stairway make with the floor? So I'm trying to find this angle. So here's what, what my mind does. Um, I don't have a right triangle there. Mm, whoops, not what I wanted, sorry. So I'm going to make my own by dropping a side and having a right triangle here. Now, this is what I'm trying to find. This is my x. But I'm given information about this little triangle here. But I can use that because think about it. Um, what is the length of this leg of my triangle? Well, it's equivalent to, you know, the, the tread of two steps. So if the tread of one step is 36, we'll add another 36 to it. And so the tread of two steps is 72. And the same thing with the rise. Um, the rise of one step is 16, so then the rise of two steps would be 32. And so then I have these two sides on my triangle, and in respect to this angle I'm finding, this would be my opposite, this would be my adjacent. So I'm just doing uh, tangent of the angle I'm finding should be equivalent to 32 over 72 over A. So when I do the inverse tangent of that fraction, what do I get? Let's see. Inverse tangent 32 divided by 72. I get x to be 23.96 degrees if I round two places. All right. So that finishes it up for this video. Um, here's what's coming up. Whoops, I don't have a what's coming up next page. Uh, next, we're looking at special right triangle measures, um, side ratios. So uh, keep learning, have fun, and I'll see you next time.